Trump sick after seeing what Kansas City Chiefs just put on shirts they're selling to protesting fans. After the worst mass shooting in New Dotes, history by deranged shooter Stephen Paddock, you would think that NFL players would put their disgusting national anthem protests on the back burner to unite as a country. Well, you would think, but that is not what occurred last Monday night when two Kansas City Chiefs continued to protest despite the tragedy that claimed 59 lives and injured over 500 others. Now, if that was not disrespectful enough, what these ingrates are promoting will undoubtedly turn your stomach even more. A couple of weeks back, President Trump entered the national anthem fray by saying what every American was thinking about these un-American players. At a political rally in Alabama Trump said, that's a total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for, Trump continued wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when someone disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. Of course, this energized Trump supporters but NFL players didn't and decided to ramp up their nasty protests. That following weekend, entire football fans took a New York state in their locker rooms to protest Trump's words. One of those teams that kneeled during the anthem was the Kansas City Chiefs which of course, drew the ire of all their fans. Then the very next week after the horrific shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada that killed close to 60 innocent people two players retook a knee. Cornerback Marcus Peters and linebacker Uke Melig were the two players on either team who decided to sit during the anthem. The two players faced outrage from not only their fans but the entire country who were appalled that these players could not put their divisive politics aside for the victims of the shooting. So, now to add insult to injury, there is a shirt being promoted with the apparent Kansas City Chief logo on it that supports players kneeling. The shirt was found on a site called The Heaviest Hand. This is the description for this horrible shirt. All profits from sales of this shirt will be donated to the ACLU in the Criminal Law Reform Project. The Criminal Law Reform Project, CLRP, focuses its work on the front end of the criminal justice system, from policing to sentencing, seeking to end excessively harsh criminal justice policies that result in mass incarceration, overcriminalization and racial injustice, and stand in the way of a fair and equal society. Hash Black Lives Matter. Now, there is no evidence that the shirts are made by the Kansas City Chiefs but either way it does not look good for the organization. The team is already on thin ice with fans and now that this shirt is out with a logo that is similar to theirs can only cause the team more issues. For too long the American people have been called racists and bigots all for wanting government officials to follow the Constitution. And, to make matter worse now these people are calling anyone who is against players kneeling during the national anthem unpatriotic. So, let's get this straight one more time for those in the nosebleed bleacher seats, okay? If these NFL players want to protest racial inequality or police brutality they can do it on their own time and not while wearing a uniform. These players have the right to say what they want, but that does not make them immune to the consequences of their actions. For these social justice warriors to imply that Americans who are angry that million dollar players are spitting in the face of our veterans are the unpatriotic ones, need a history lesson. Black Lives Matter, Antifa and the new Black Panthers are the ones that are unpatriotic and need to be locked up for their treasonous deeds. These domestic terrorist groups plan to destroy America by overthrowing President Trump to enact their revenge for years of their perceived injustice. This shirt is a symbol of their hate for not only President Trump but of our country and should be stopped in its tracks. However, it won't do to the fact that there are millions of brainwashed sheep out there that believe this garbage. Which means that it is up to us to fight the battle and we can if we stick together and continue speaking the truth, in the truth.